If you've scalded your hands when washing dishes, shrieked from freezing shower water, or waited a long time for the washing machine to fill, you know how frustrating temperature and pressure issues can be. At times, they can be dangerous. Though you should consider any issues a signal that you might need a pro soon, in this video we cover DIY tips for when your pressure is low or temperature is wonky. Whole house. If water pressure is low throughout your home, you need to figure out what is causing it before you can decide how to handle it. If in a new home, consider talking to neighbors to find out if they too have low water pressure. If this is a neighborhood problem, you may need to invest and install a water pressure booster. If the low water pressure is specific to your home, look for a pressure reducing valve that the previous owner may have installed. Should you find one, you can adjust its settings or call a plumber to come out and adjust them for you so that it allows for a heavier flow rate in your home. If you find that there is no pressure reducing valve, the low pressure is likely occurring because either the main water valve is opened all the way or your main water line is leaking. Adjust the valve and or check in and around your home for signs of leakage like discoloration, uneven ground, and standing water. If you get to this point and still aren't sure exactly what's going on, it's time to call a waterworks plumber. Fixture specific. If one or two of your faucets are not performing as they should, you may be looking at clogged aerators. Get a handle on this by unscrewing the fixture nozzle, checking for buildup, and soaking gunky pieces in vinegar water overnight. If the pressure is normal while the aerator is off, then you have likely found the problem. If soaking the pieces in the vinegar water solution doesn't increase the pressure, you may just need to buy replacements at your local hardware store. However, if you check the water pressure while the aerator is off and you find that it is low, you could be looking at a leak somewhere on the line. If this is the case, call a waterwork plumber to come out and quickly find the trouble spot. Temperature specific. When experiencing temperature issues, take the following steps. If the water is not getting hot, check to see if your water heater's pilot light went out. Check to see if your gas valve is working correctly. Or check to see if the heating element is working properly on an electric tank. Check to see if the temperature is set too low. Check to see if the water heater is turned off. Consider the age of the water heater. If it is older, you may need a replacement. If the water is too hot, check to see if your water heater's temp setting is too high. Check the shower valve and faucets where the water is too hot to see if there is something wrong with the dial controls on that end. Only experiencing low water pressure from hot water sources? If so, head over to your water heater and check to see if the shutoff valve is fully open. If it is, it's time to call a plumber to come take a look. Waterworks professional plumbers are ready to handle any issue you throw their way. We also know that it's critical to respond immediately to emergencies. That's why we're on call 24-7 to address repairs, as well as to handle speedy replacements and or installations. Tell us about your plumbing needs directly by calling 248-918-2149. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.